The second most powerful cosmic ray ever found has been detected by a telescope array in the west desert of Utah. Named the Amaterasu particle after the sun goddess in Japanese mythology, it had an energy of 2.4 million trillion electron volts. That's equivalent to the energy of a golf ball traveling at 95 miles per hour. Only the oh my god, oh my g particle detected 30 years earlier packed a bigger punch. Cosmic rays are high energy particles that come from a variety of sources in space. Most of them are protons, the rest are other bare nuclei or electrons. Some come from the sun, others from outside the solar system but within the Milky Way galaxy and yet others including the most energetic from outside our galaxy. Cosmic rays rain down continually on Earth's upper atmosphere from all directions. These so-called primary cosmic rays smash into nuclei of oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere, producing secondary cosmic rays which collide again and again until they result in a shower of secondary cosmic rays at the surface. By the time a cosmic ray shower reaches the ground, it can be so spread out that detectors have to be set up over a large area to pick up the whole thing. The University of Utah's Telescope Array gives researchers information about the trajectory and energy of the particle that gave rise to the shower. Because cosmic rays are charged, their direction of travel is strongly influenced by any magnetic fields they meet along the way. This makes it virtually impossible to trace their original trajectory and therefore the point in the sky from which they came. But the most energetic cosmic rays, such as the Amaterasu particle, are expected to barrel on through without much deflection. But here's the thing. When scientists reconstructed the flight path of the Amaterasu particle, they found it came from a direction where there was virtually nothing a vast region of mostly empty space called the local void, which borders on our own local group of galaxies. The OMG particle found in 1991 also seems to have come from a direction in which there's no obvious object that could have produced it. Some incredibly powerful source gave rise to these record-breaking cosmic rays, but we don't know what it is. They're too energetic to have come from supernovae. They've tens of millions of times more energy than the largest particle accelerator on Earth can achieve. Supermassive black holes at the heart of active galaxies have been suggested as one possible source. But then why don't we see any sign of such objects along the direction of travel? Other more exotic sources have been suggested, including defects in the structure of space-time colliding cosmic strings, and particle physics as yet unknown to science. Intergalactic magnetic fields may be stronger than we thought, but that disagrees with other observations that show they're not strong enough to produce significant curvature of the paths of ultra-high-energy cosmic rays. As always, to solve any scientific mystery, we need more data. Utah's telescope array is being expanded to include 500 new detectors across an area nearly the size of Rhode Island. The larger footprint of the array will capture more events and so, it's hoped, be able to shed more light on what exactly is going on.